Hello and welcome to Capacity TV. Today we're joined by Stuart Evers, who's CSO at Turk Telecom International. Welcome, Stuart. Thank you. Could you provide an update on your new Emir project for us? Yeah, sure. So, as you know, the Emir um, route was launched in uh, March, actually at Capacity Dubai. And since then, it's met with great success, uh, so much so that uh, uh, we've had a number of inquiries um, by partners to extend it, uh, firstly into India and then to Singapore. So what are your future plans for the projects in the next year? We want to build on the success thus far um, and the plan is to extend Amir uh, to Singapore as I said uh, with a partnership and then also extend a consortium agreement to take it to India. We are also looking at possibilities uh, to extend it into neighbouring Middle East countries such as Kuwait and Bahrain as well. What has been some of your experiences in working in the consortium for the Amir projects? Obviously at the start um, because it is a quite complicated um, a piece of network so the consortium itself was complicated so we had some teething problems um, but I would say that um, there was a lot of goodwill on each of the parties and therefore after a couple of months and um, we actually found our, our level and uh, we were able to move uh, along very smoothly and fluidly. The problems that we had actually are largely beneficial to us in the long run because it means that we've been able to take these problems, uh, use the solutions that we found for those and apply them to future consortia. Uh, and that's a great advantage for us. And I think that that gives us a significant advantage over people who are maybe just starting out in this, in this endeavour. So what are some of the solutions that you found? The, the major issue is about the revenue share. And obviously, uh, human nature suggests that everybody thinks their own part is the most important. Obviously, everybody's can't be the most important part. So it's about um, uh, compromise and finding out the, the real value um, in terms of the overall consortium, that is, the sum of the parts rather than the individual parts themselves. And it's to get people to, to that level to understand that. Once you're there, then the majority of the problems are solved. And how has the industry reacted to that consortium model? Firstly, with surprise, because they didn't think it was going to work. <laughs> but now, actually, uh, um, a lot of uh, inquiries. Uh, we actually have our first customers on it. And of course, the fact that um, new members want to come along and want us to extend into their market shows that they really do believe in this. Um, if you consider the time to market, the investment, um, and you know the uh, cost savings that you would uh, have from a consortium, uh, plus the fact that you reduce competition to, uh, with all of the members, uh, I think that it has significant advantages. And once they've seen it once, uh, one, uh, work once, then obviously they, they realise that uh, it really is a, a something viable for the future. And I understand TTI has just joined CMEWE5. What are your hopes for that project? So we are the, the latest and perhaps the last member of CMEWE5, as I believe it's closed now. It was very important to uh, join a cable such as CMEWE5 because it represents the future connectivity between Asia and Europe. It's going to be the premium um, route between these two continents uh, for the next 20 to 30 years. So it's very important for TTI. Uh, as a global player to be part of that. Our hopes and ambitions are, well, I mean, twofold. Firstly, we want to play a key part in this key route into the future. A subsection of that is actually offering a, a nearer uh, terrestrial part to the network because previously the nearest landing stations would have been Italy uh, or France. Obviously, landing in, uh, in Marmaris in Turkey, it means that you can get onto the land part much quicker. And the second ambition really is to get Turkey onto this uh, very important cable. Turkey is one of the fastest growing economies in the region, one of the major economic players. And it's very important um, for Turkey that it's part of this. So we wanted to get Turkey connected to both of these endpoints, Europe and Asia. So you launched the Emir project in 2014. Um, what, what's new for you in 2015? Yeah, well, as I mentioned, there's going to be Amiri, which is Amir to India. There's going to be Amirs, which is Amirs to Singapore. And maybe then uh, Bamir, Bahrain, and Kamir, Kuwait. So that's it for the moment. Um, we also have plans to um, for a new terrestrial Asian route, again using consortium, but that won't be available to 2015, we think, uh, probably 2016. So we will probably have information for you later on in 2015 about that. And do you have any plans in the voice market at all coming up? Yeah, I mean, it's a very interesting question because the voice market is one of those markets that has little or no product development in the last uh, 10 or 15 years. So we've actually tried to change that trend. So we have a, a new SMS hubbing project in conjunction with MGI. We also have um, a new uh, prepaid platform, which is particularly good for um, 
entering emerging markets such as Africa, uh, the less developed markets in Asia such as uh, Burma or Myanmar. These two developments we see as uh, injecting new life into our, into our voice portfolio. So another busy year ahead. Please. Another extremely busy year ahead, yes indeed. Thank you for joining us today on Capacity TV. Thank you very much for having me.